you, you think it's funny now. You won't be laughing later. <laughs> hey, at least you're not killing off legends and bosses oh. right away. Yeah, not killing it that fast. Getting runes on top of runes. Okay, so when you summon me back in, we're going to be doing some cross-country because there's some items that I want to gather. Okay. And there's a couple of bosses that I want to kill. Uh, uh, you want me to load, in uh, load it now? Uh, whenever you're ready. It doesn't have to be now. Uh, but yeah, after we do some Elden Ring, how do you feel about watching another movie again? <coughs> yeah, definitely. <coughs> oh, did you ever see Final Fantasy XV Kingsglaive? I did not. Maybe we can watch that and cringe at it. <laughs> so I, I shouldn't well, poison the well fast. The movie's actually not bad. Well, it's, it's better than the game, right? Uh, it's hard. Oh to God! S it's hard to say. It's hard to like put on a spectrum exactly how good or bad it is. I will say it's not bad. It's um. Let me see. Like where, in terms of quality, where would I put it? Uh, I want to say it's better than Crisis Core, but it's less good than... I'm going to say it's below Final Fantasy VIII and above Crisis Core. It's right in between there. Oh, that's... Uh, damn. Like, it's, it's not as good as, say, Final Fantasy VIII, but it's better than Crisis Core is where I would rank that movie. Okay. So it's, it's possible to like it. Yeah, it's not a... It's not bad. It's really not bad. It's not <laughs> it's really... Better good it's better than bad it's good <laughs> it's better than bad but i don't know if i would say it's good it's better than bad though to say the least is it better than log uh well let's see here oh a, a log can roll downstairs <laughs> go over in pairs and, and run over your neighbor's dog yeah it's great for a snack it fits on your back uh i don't know if you can say the same thing about king's glaive Damn, it's not... Okay, the log is better than the movie. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll go into it with an open mind. Yeah, it's good to go into it with an open mind. It's not expecting too much. Like, I watched it expecting the movie to be bad. It was better than bad.
<clears throat> okay. Are you in the game? Yeah. Okay. Let me go ahead and use my little tiny grape pot. Okay. Now, do you do you want me to use that or should you? Uh, how about you use it because um, while we're doing this, it's better if you don't have the latency and I deal with the latency. Okay. Okay, I use open, oh, uh, yeah, tiny, tiny butt pot. So, this sword, I wonder, is it, is that the length, exact length of what Sephiroth's sword is? No, Sephiroth's sword was actually a bit bigger, but here's the other thing, is that sword is not actually based on Sephiroth's sword, that's actually based on a classic Japanese trope. Um, oh, you know what the name of that sword was actually called in Je uh, Japanese uh, folklore? Isn't that Nodachi? No, I mean, Nodachi is what the type of sword is called, but it was actually called Zanpakuto. Huh. Yeah. So you could speak to it. Well, it's basically because um, the sword itself was not actually carried by the sword user. It was carried by two disciples. And the sword user themselves would only use it for executions, not combat. Uh. And the, the ones with the longer handle, they were used on horses. Yeah. Yeah, the Nagamaki is what those types of swords were called. And they were used either for foot soldiers to strike at people on horses, or for people on horseback to strike at foot soldiers. That's a, oh, that's a cool, cool sword you're holding, this yeah, the sword, sword of flames. Yeah, the sword of night and flame. It's really, really good. Anyway, so now that we're at the Lost Table, I want to like try and flesh out some of these quests that you got here. Like, what's Brother Corrin have to say? Oh. Okay. To the round table I see you just arrived. Well, not really. Man of the cloth. Yeah, let's try to get all these guys' quests started. Ours. I might. The guidance of grace. Yeah, can you see it? Uh, uh. Yes. I see it. Incantation of the two fingers. Okay, study incantations. Oh yeah, so he doesn't have any <laughs> incantations that are worth knowing yet, but maybe a flame sling might be a good one to start with. Ooh, throws ball of raging fire. Oh, it's not really raging fire. I'll show you a spell that uses a ball of raging fire later, but it requires 30 faith in order to use it. But how how does sh uh, rejection work? Is that pretty good? What, he's got rejection? Yeah, it produces a shockwave oh. that pushes away foes. Th that was actually not bad. Um, I wouldn't rely on that too much, though, but that's actually a decent one. Like uh, I'll go ahead and buy it. Yeah, go ahead and buy it. There's no harm in it. Yeah. Actually, fuck it. I could just buy all of them. Yeah, just well, I mean, save your runes. You want to have you have other stuff you want to use your runes on. Yeah. Like, um. You have a prayer book. Uh, yeah. If you've got prayer books, you can give them to him, and he's got other spells that you can learn. Give the Golden Order, Principia. Yeah, and then he'll have uh. Radagon's rings and the law of regression should be added to his repertoire. May the golden orb. And then give the two fingers prayer book. Oh yeah, I don't remember what the two fingers prayer book one is. But yeah, oh, go. Oh yeah, I found that by accident. Yeah, go ahead and give those to him as well. May the golden orb. And then he'll have extra spells that he can sell to you now. He he said uh it was something about it. Hey. It was heresy. Oh, yeah, that's going to come into this guy's story later on. Notice how he's got the wheel around his neck and the cowbell and the blindfold. Yeah, he's a slave. He's not a slave. He's a prophet. That wheel that, that he put around his neck, he put that on his neck himself. Oh, okay. 
So it's just part of his... Um... It's part of his self-flatulation to atone for his uh, his blasphemy, his heresy. Um, hmm. Also, the reason why he's wearing his blindfold is not because he's trying to cover his eyes. It's because he's balding and he wants to hide it. No, but uh, the prophets in this game, the way they work is... Uh, do you remember the Shabriri grapes that were the caramelized eyeballs? Yeah. So anybody who has actually witnessed the frenzied flame, their eyeballs melt. And when they die from it, their eyeballs become caramelized. And uh, if you eat said Shabriri grapes, you will inherit the last thing that they saw before they die. Uh, um, death? Well, anybody who has witnessed the frenzied flame is driven mad by it. But if somebody can avoid the madness long enough for their eyes to become caramelized, a small bit of wisdom of the frenzied flame is manifested within it. And you're That's probably curious what the frenzied flame is. Yeah. Well, we'll get to that. But first, so this guy D. Don't talk to D. This guy's a fucking asshole. Fuck him. Here we go, Rajir. You remember this guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's the one who helped us face Margit. Look at him now. Pleased to meet you. The name's Roger, but now I'm in this. I had a little mishap, you might guess. Ah. Oh. I'm privy to a few. Would you care to learn? Mishap. Yeah, remember that. Did he shit himself? Uh, remember that corpse we found below uh, Stormville Castle? He brought it with him. He tried to fuck it. No need to be. This game is great. No, it's us. Uh, so he got infected with death blight, and the death blight exists because of Godwin. Because Godwin was killed in soul alone, but his body kept on living, his body is now cursed with a thing called Death Blight. And anybody who comes too close to them gets infected with Death Blight. I can learn skills? Oh yeah, get Spinning Weapon. That's a really good one. Okay. Here we go on the wall. I just noticed there's a portrait of Radagon up here, and a portrait of Godfrey right next to it. Uh, what's, uh, Carrion Greatsword? That, um... That turns... That's a magic ability. It's, it's not all that great, but you can get that as well. It's another Ash of War. It looks cool just uh, looking at the picture. Yeah, it's a, um, so basically what it does is it turns your your weapon into a gigantic magical greatsword. Like you can go ahead and buy it and put it on one of your straight swords and we can test it out. Okay. Um, but yeah, once you're done talking to him... No, I told him I, def I, told him I defeated Godric. And did he give you his uh, stiletto? He's still talking. Oh, yeah. He's about to, though. Roger's rapier plus eight? Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a pretty decent one, too. Notice it's also got, uh, if you look at the crit rate it's got on it, it's got... Uh, hey, let me... Uh, one, <clears throat> 110 let crit. Let me look at that sword. Okay, where'd he go? It's under thrusting swords. There it is. Okay, so it's got pretty good physical damage. Yeah. It's the, the this is what's weird though. The strength is E and the dexterity is C. Yeah, it's a you can change that, but it's a dexterity weapon because it's a thrusting weapon. Yeah, but you know my dexterity and my strength are the same, so. Yeah, you can work change out. It. you'll change it to quality. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and head over here. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead and wrap up Rodrika's story. Where'd you go? I went back to the table. Okay. Yeah, you're um. You don't show up on my um. Um, what do you call it? Am I invisible? Compass. Oh no, the compass doesn't work in the round table. And, and once you like go around a corner and you're no longer visible then your name and your health bar goes shifting to the left of the screen yeah, I see but yeah go ahead and uh, talk to Rodrika he just says she'll ask Master Hughes to teach me okay and I'll talk to Master Hugh and see if the option to talk about Rodrika is here Look how she's crushed. She has it. I saw in her eye. 
Anything? Um, no, it's just about the chains on your legs. Okay, then let's go ahead and rest at the table. You just broke the chair, you sleaze. Wait, I broke the chair? <laughs> yeah, if you rest... <laughs> If you rest at the table next to a chair, the chairs will explode. All right, let's go see. Is Rodrika sitting on the ground with a blanket? Is Rodrika right here? No. Okay, well, fuck. Is she still standing by the fireplace? Yes. See, this is the fu fucking shit that I'm talking about. It's the These NPCs, they're not loading in properly. Do I need to leave so you can finish their quest properly? I, I think... It's possible. We might be having to do that with a lot of them. Okay. Well, let's let's check on uh, one more dude. Okay. Uh, talk to Rajir again. He might mention the gold mask. He decide to leave the round table hold. Does he mention the gold mask? Yes. To beg his instruction. He says, if there's any incantations I wish to learn, now's the time. Yeah, save that for later. We're gonna we're gonna find this guy later. Anyway, okay. let, let's go over here and talk to Gideon. You received the wisdom of the two fingers. If you're heading to the forge, you'll need to find an Arctima. I'll go if you the two finger. Does he say anything about Nefeli? Um, he's still talking. Okay. Um, where should I go? Unlocated demigods and show him selfish potion. Oh, yeah, you can give the potion to him so you don't accidentally give it to Nefeli. <laughs> I can tell he hates that bastard too. Yeah, uh, Gideon and Celibus have a bad history with each other. <laughs> He's so far up his own arse, he won't suspect a thing. <clears throat> okay, and then it says, where should I go? And unlocated demigods. I think that's it for now. Okay. Uh, oh, is Nefeli still here for you? Oh, hello. I've not yeah. seen you here. Okay, go ahead and talk to her. She might give you the uh, armory talisman. Oh, yeah. I wonder if he's in his study. If you haven't already, father isn't, I'm sure, talking. I'll see you again. Okay, maybe not. Your name is on oh wow this Wait, thing's fucking up what the fuck why does it say host of fingers elden lord elden lord yeah i see that too did somebody else join our game that's not possible it, i mean it is possible because our password is password but what's the likelihood of someone joining by accidentally putting in the path <laughs> oh, it might be might be actually kind of high might be high because we came up with like the least creative password possible. <laughs> right. I didn't think that somebody else would like think of it, but it's fucking possible. I I want to say it's a bug. I don't think it's a bug. I think somebody else joined our game. I want to find out where they're hiding. I want to find out who the fuck got into our game. Wait. We, we, shouldn't we be able to see them on the map? Wait, did I just hear someone say hey? And no, there's no one on the map. Hey, hey where's that coming from? Hey. I hear that. Yeah, he's he's here somewhere. Hey. Hey. 
Where is that coming from? Yeah, I'll check. I'll check down there. Yeah, we should come up with a different password. Oh, he's over here. He's in Gideon's room. That's yeah. a player. Yeah, it's another player. We 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 came up with like the worst fucking password. Holy shit. Okay. Wait, what the fuck was that? I, I just received a yes or no. Okay, we need to come up with a new fucking password. Holy shit. Hey! Did we back? Oh, yeah. she's here now. Who? Uh, okay, I'm actually going to back out. And you should use the separation mist too, and then we'll make a new password. Okay. Uh, but first, I'm going to talk. Uh, I'm going to oh. politely bow to this guy, though, because uh, it's not his fault that he guessed our fucking password. All right, I'm back. Okay, so out. now now she can do spirit turn tuning to me. All right, that's good. Uh, go ahead and use the separation mist now, though. Okay. Wow. Oops. I mean, it's our fault for coming up with such a stupid password. I'm gonna go he ahead. He just and... walked into the room just... that I was standing, and I used the separation mist. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going back out of the game. Yeah, I'm returned to desktop. Um, let's see, open file location, seamless co-op, seamless co-op settings, password. What should our new password be? Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. Just something better than password. Okay. Something that like Jill Valentine. Dick saucer. Dick saucer. Wait, how do you spell saucer? Uh, S a u c e r. S a u c e r. And is that cap one word? Dick saucer. Capital D. Yeah. Capital D. Capital S. Uh, no. Uh, lowercase s? Yes. Okay, Dick Saucer. S-A-U-C-E-R? S-A-U-C-E-R, yes. Dick Saucer, one word. Okay, do I, now do I put save as or save? Yeah, save, uh, save, not save as. If it's save okay. as, it'll save as a new file. All right, let's okay. go ahead and open it up again. <laughs> the funny thing is I'm even recording. I have, I have the recording <laughs> running. Whoever that guy was, Elden Lord. Nothing against that dude, but this Nothing. is this is just us only. Nothing against that dude. <laughs> At least he was nice about it. We're just like, why is there somebody named Elden Lord in our game? It's and just why this do we keep guy. Hearing, hey, yeah, where's that coming from? All right, well, I, me... I, I kind of feel bad because just as he came in, I I used the separation mist. Yeah, I mean it's not his fault that he guessed our password, but still. Uh, but yeah, you should have gotten uh, Rodrika and uh, Rogier. Oh, she's okay. There she is. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to use the uh, pot. Tiny gray pot. Yeah. Can't believe that happened. You know, that happened on uh, Rooster Teeth one time when they were playing Minecraft. Some random guy joined their game because they forgot to <laughs> set it to private. <laughs> And Gavin even ran up to him and said, Get out of our game, you idiot. We're trying to do a okay. Let's Play. And somebody was like, Gavin, he can't hear you. Oh, uh, okay. So she disappeared just as you arrived. So she's no longer here. Oh, she just got unloaded, I guess. Um, oh, she's back here. Yep. But that's so it wrong. Re it, re it resets the uh, quest, I think. Uh, but that's wrong. <coughs> it's that's buggy. Wrong. Well, Rogier's not here. I will yeah, come back gone. to this. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, take some of your Ashes of War and apply them to some weapons, and you can see if you like them. Like, pick one of your straight swords, like your long oh, sword. Oh. oh, I need to have that blood, that, that dash move. Oh, Bloodhound Step. You should already have that. 
I do. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what weapon I need to put it on. You know, it would actually work good if you put it on a thrusting sword, like Rajir's rapier or something. Or the, oh. or the rapier. That's Ashes of War? Yeah, Ashes of War. And, like, put the Bloodhound step on a rapier or something. Okay. I've got the normal uh, rapier. Yeah, the normal and the rapier. And then the Rogers, Rogers rapier. Yeah, because uh, dual-wielding thrusting swords is a really good moveset that I like. So what you can do is you can have um, the normal rapier in your right hand and Raju's rapier in your left hand. Have Bloodhound step on the normal rapier. Oh, this one already has a skill. Never mind. So it has to be on the rapier. I mean, you can override it, and you don't lose the skill when you override it. Hey, I have an S-stock. Yeah, S-stocks are nice. Is it better than the normal rapier? The normal rapier's actually got a high crit rate to it, but the S-Doc does more damage. Mm. It depends on what you want. Well, yeah, I'll put on the rapier. Fuck it. Okay. Where is the Bloodhound gang? Bloodhound step. It should be at... Uh... Oh, there sure. it is. Found it. Alright, I'm going... <clears throat> and then, okay, uh... this will... <laughs> this will bring... It'll be 96 plus 42, but it'll go down to 87. Mm hmm But plus 47. And then, um, you wanted to try carrying greatsword on a weapon, so go ahead and find a, a weapon you want to put carrying greatsword in, like your longsword or something. Broadsword. Oh, uh, sh what should this be? Uh, affinity granted. What, what? Quality. The rapier be? Quality. Okay. Since you've got dexterity and strength equalized. Quality. All right, awesome. Now for the um... pick something like your long sword or something, and put carrying greatsword on it. Ooh, I could this with handler, hander. Oh yeah, that works. I don't know if I would put it on the Zwei hander, but I would put it on like a one-handed sword. What about the greatsword? I uh, I would put it on a smaller sword, carrying greatsword. Chris. You'll see why. I I don't I don't see. Uh, don't you have like a, broad, have a? You have like a broadsword or a longsword, don't you? Um, yeah, but not a carrion. I have the no, Lord that's... Sworn Greatsword I can use. No, that's the Ash of War. Oh. Yeah, select uh your go to Ashes of War, select a longsword, and select carrion greatsword, and set it to quality. Or a longsword? A uh, longsword would be a good one. I already have Bloody Slash on that one. I could put on a uh, broadsword. I mean, you can override them if you want, but yeah, put uh, put it on whichever sword, because I just want you to see how it works to see if you like it or not. Okay. Yeah, what was it called? The uh, Carrying yeah. Greatsword. There it yeah. is. All right. Uh, quality? Yeah, quality. Okay. All right, then come over here. <laughs> now that we're down here, we can play with our combat abilities. <clears throat> All right, so here's the sword of night and flame, what it does. So you, you remember standoff? And off. It was like the first ability that we got in the beginning. I don't know if I, I don't know if I used it, did I? We only used it a little bit because it wasn't all that great. But here's how the Sword of Night and Flame works. You use standoff, and then when you use your normal attack, oh, and then your strong attack, yeah. So that's pretty, pretty cool. All right, go all ahead right. and try out your abilities. And see what happens when you hold it. it. That one's a charged attack. Oh. Charge it. Uh, I was holding down the button. But... Is that as far as it'll charge? There's yeah. One, there's one that charges more than that, but maybe it's a spell. And then um, Bloodhound Step you wanted to try. 
Yeah. Let me. <laughs> that'd be on my rapier. Yeah. Oh. That. Yes. Okay. Now let me equip the other. Um. The other one. Yeah. And you remember how to do uh, power stancing? That. This could really save my ass. Yeah. You know, I'm willing to try this uh, combination. See, uh, see what it'll do for me. All right. Now, are you ready to go cross country and gather a few things? Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Let's start from the beginning. All right. So first, we're going to teleport to Faram Great Bridge, which is uh, to the northeast of Kalid. Okay, I see you already got lights on it. Yeah. get a grade 9 somber stone? Yep. Okay. I did not, but it's okay. This is for you. We're going to Dragon Barrow West next. Okay. Dragon Barrow West. Oh, there it is. Uh oh. What? Okay. <laughs> I saw you whistle and it didn't show up. Yeah, sometimes that happens, but that's that's normal in the <laughs> vanilla game as well. Like sometimes when you summon the horse right next to the grace, it won't work. Ah. Get a somber stone seven, eight. I mean eight, yeah. All right, and then this next one's gonna be the temple of yeah, the temple of Egile. No wait, actually we can just go to normal volcano manor. Okay. Destructo Disc. The fuck kind of move is that? Destructo Disc. That does a hell of a lot of damage. That's because the Albinors are weak to holy magic. And don't you worry, I'll show you where to get this.
That dude's already dead. Over here, there should be a somber stone seven. Shit. You just shoot jump over it. <sighs> There's a way to get up, right? Nope. We have to go back. Back to Volcano Manor. Was the teleport bugged? Yeah. Okay. I'll just wait. Okay. Yeah, I tried to press L1. I pressed L2. Watch out. Okay, grab it this time. Okay, that's seven. Uh, okay. And then next we're going to be teleporting to Bridge of Inquiry, which is nearby. Ah, there it is. And it's bugged. Too bad you can't put a banana up my butt. <laughs> the one thing we remember about playing Peace Walker. Alright, try again. Literally, the most memorable thing about that game was putting a banana up your butt. Uh-huh. I mean, hey, what else were you going to do with the multiplayer? Because the other parts of the multiplayer don't even work anymore. I know. Is it, that's. I, I just don't understand. Why are you gonna make something function for a little while, and then take out the service to where it renders that game kind of useless? Yeah. Same could be said about pretty much all games that rely on multiplayer as their selling point. But Metal Gear games have been beyond that. Like Peace Walker was the only Metal Gear game that actually had multiplayer as a selling point. Also, yeah. See this guy crying over his friend? Oh, not that guy. But yeah, at one point you actually see a dude who's crying over his dead comrade, but then when you take a close look, you see he's not actually crying, he's actually eating him. Oh. Alright, climb up this ladder. Those are tears of happiness. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's not gay to give your best friend a hand job. My friend and I give each other hand jobs all the time and we're still not gay. 
Didn't didn't fucking Aaron said that from Game Grums? No, that was a post I saw on 4chan. Somebody was talking about uh, giving your bro a hand job while they played Dead or Alive Extreme 3. And it's like, bro, that's gay. And it's like, it's not gay to give your best friend a hand job. My friend and I give each other hand jobs all the time and we're still not gay. Up here, there's an adorable little wolfie pup. There should be a grade six stone right here. Yep, six. And dude's, a, wow. He just literally put a chair right there, sat down and died. And his wolf didn't die. I mean, his wolf is dead now because of us. All right, next stop is going to be... Inner Aeonia in Kaled. There it is. <laughs> and it's bugged. PC gaming's the best. Yeah, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Damn console peasants, am I right? Yeah, you can't upgrade consoles. All you do when you upgrade a console is just wait for the new one to come out, buy it, and throw the old one in the trash. You know, people do this. Yeah. I know a lot of people who just sell their old consoles when the new one comes out. And it's like, I wouldn't have a problem with that if they hadn't, if they didn't stop making backwards compatibility a thing. We have a couple of stops to make here. And then, you know, like, selling your shit just to get new shit doesn't really work out when you collect them. Yeah. <laughs> because there would be a day I want to go back and play it again. Yeah. And what was it? There was something I saw somebody said of something stupid where it was just like, what's the point of playing a video game more than once? Do you expect to get a different experience the second time? And it's like, uh, sometimes, yeah, especially if the game's good. It, it, it's like, it's like uh, reading a book the second time or watching a movie the second time. There's shit yeah. that you didn't know about. There's stuff you didn't notice. All right, there should be a grade five stone right here. Got it. All right. Uh, so if you check your inventory now, you should have uh, somber stones one through nine in your inventory. Don't check your inventory right now, though. We got to get out of here. Yeah. <clears throat> so now, if there is a weapon that you like that is uh, unique. Oh, it's foggy. Yeah. Here we go, Celia Crystal Tunnel. No, we can't go up at the same time. But I can go up the same time when I'm in you. <laughs> this game is so unrealistic. And where's that uh, Ash of the War incantation where you can uh, teleport in them? Yeah. That's be Bloodhound Step. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Dude, stop. Grab the smithing stones. What the hell? Are these guys weak against uh, magical attacks? Yeah, these guys are weak against fire and holy. Rock plaster. Ah! <coughs> Come on over here. Kick in this ladder in case of an emergency. Somber stone over here. Oh, we got company. Asshole. Somber stone over here. And then there's about to be some dead bitches over here. See that shit? Damn, one hit. Uh-huh. See, this is a really Faithful good sword. Canvas talisman? Yeah, and it, it, it boosts incantations. Right, here we go. We got ourselves a boss. Hame, hame, ha! Oh fuck. Okay, well, so much for that. I don't think these weapons are gonna be effective against this guy, is it? You just gotta be Goku. Get fucked, nerd. Somber stone six and some sevens and another bell bearing. Gravity stone chunk. Uh, who cares about gravity stones? Hold up. Huh? What? Now we're gonna load, light up the three Bellfire berries. We've been here before. Yeah. Son of a bitch. If you don't make the jump, it's okay. Now where are you? I'm over here on your left. I mean, you can jump up there too. Oh fuck! I almost almost fell. Uh, 
Yeah, this is where we shot the scarab and we got double slash. Oh. Don't look at my dress while you're down there. Oh no, why would I do a thing like that? What do you think this is? Dead or alive? Fuck. Did you fall off? Yeah. It's okay, I'm at the last one here. I'm gonna jump back down in a second. Oh yeah, careful, you're gonna get ganked by a bunch of invisible God dudes. Damn it! Can't do a fucking thing without them shooting something at me. I'll be there in a second, don't worry. Here is an imbued key. I got a lily, um, some type of lily. Mikola's lily, yeah. Get the imbued key over here. Imbued sword key. Here is a night shard. Or night no. comet? Who the fuck tried to stab us? All right. Oh, did I have my shield? Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't have carry and retaliation on this shield. Wow. Here's the boss room. Two of them. There's gonna be zero of them in a second here. Destructo disc. Nice. And here Nox we have flowing sword. And then over here we got the best magical staff in the game, the stats glintstone staff. Okay. And you know what this thing does? Nope. It increases your spells by twenty percent, but it costs an extra fifty percent of FP. I'm gonna see if I can level up. <laughs> Yeah. Spend your runes wisely. I could all, I could only use one one get one point. Yeah. That's normal though. Okay, holy shit, do I really only have six memory slots? Wow. Okay. So there's a couple of things we can do now. I'm thinking one good idea would be to unlock all of the memory shards. So we can what do those do? That increases the amount of spells that you can memorize. Okay. Um, let me see here. Which ones are we missing? Uh, okay, so there's... We got that one. So we're missing that one. That one. Oh, okay. Alright, I know where to go. 
All right, so the first place we're going to go is uh, Lens Rise, which is to the east. And it's bugged. bugged. I wonder who that guy was earlier. Some random who? dude. <laughs> Just the random dude who joined us in the round table. Oh. Yeah, it looked like he had something uh wearing some type of ma some type of mask. Yeah. But <laughs> it, it's funny as he was probably trying to join a friend of his who has the same password. Okay, so here's a little tricky jump. The good news is there's no chance of dying, but you have to jump off this thing and land in that small balcony right in front of us. You see it? Okay. It's a little bit of a tricky jump. I land on the roof. All right, see if you can, like, walk down into this little balcony area. All right, I'm... Now with this horse. All right. I don't even see you. Oh, wait, I see you. Yeah, I'm below you. Okay, there you are. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, that's a good. And then we're Is your gonna... dexterity really high? No, my dexterity and my strength are both at 12. They're at minimum. I mean, they're at 17. Cause you're seen... What? Because you're moving fast. Oh, no, I'm just... uh. Just a fast runner. It's probably because I'm wearing nothing. There's a memory stone. Cool. Right. Next place is going to be Castle Moor and Rampart. That's just south. I see it. And it's bugged. I wonder what would be faster if I just used a mouse for that. I mean, that's the thing about this game, is you can switch between the controller and the mouse on okay, the fly. Okay, I don't know how to... Yeah, I don't know how to move the move it with the mouse. I think you click and drag it. But yeah, I prefer using the controller for a number of reasons. Yeah, I tried using this uh, using the keyboard mouse on this game. It felt so awkward. Yeah, no, I don't think anybody enjoys playing this game with keyboard and mouse. Oh, a knight cavalry! Let's fuck him up! Jeez. Hard to hit. Get fucked, nerd. Oh, we didn't even kill his horse. Wow. Too bad we can't ride his horse. Barricade. Oh, Knight Rider flail. flail. That looks pretty cool. I Damn, what... horse. The horse. What's with that blanket? Horse has no idea what to do with its life now. Oh my god, I can see its mouth. It's a disgusting horse mouth. <laughs> it's just going to sit there for the rest of its existence? Yeah, because it's like, uh, what do I do now? And what do I do with my life?
Angel's trying to fuck me. What do I do now? <laughs> We gotta find the three turtles. So if so, if there's a, a skill on your weapon you don't like, you can remove it and put something else. Only if the weapon gives you the option to. There are some weapons where you don't have the option to customize the skill. And Depending those, on the weapon. And those are the ones that require somber stones to upgrade them. Another memory stone. Alright, our next stop is going to be North Lake Shore of Lakes of Liernia. <coughs> there it is. And it's not bugged. Wow. And then we load in upside down. <laughs> yeah. I would not even be surprised if that's actually what would happen. So what's that red? I, I noticed that you're flashing red all the time. Oh, yeah. What is that? Uh, I've got a talisman that increases my damage output when I'm at max health. Uh, I can get you that but thing as well. It's one of the things on our to-do list. And, uh, is there anything that restores your MP? You know how that one thing that, uh, restores your health over time, even though it's slow as fuck? Yeah. Is there anything like that for the magic? Nope. Damn. Yeah. Uh, there is a talisman that will increase your stamina regen more quickly. We can go ahead and get that on our to-do list. Yeah. Seek three wise beast. Well, if you can find them, they're not very wise. That fucking turtles. Oh, that's right. We haven't seen Turtle Pope yet. Turtle Pope? Turtle Pope. He's everyone's favorite dog. <laughs> Wait, what? Saucer. Yeah. All right. And the next on our stop is going to be Primeval Sorcerer Azure, which is in Mount Gilmere. Mount Gilmer. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Primeval Sorcerer Azure? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Emerald Dude. Yeah. And right behind him is a Monkey Queen, and we're going to kill her. Monkey Queen? Monkey Queen. Well, at least we don't have to fight the Monkey King. Yeah. Imagine fighting a... Uh, 
What are those big uh, ape things called in Dragon Ball Z? Uh, as Azor Ozaru. Yeah. Yeah, I learned that from the Dragon Ball Evolution movie, Ozaru. Servant of Piccolo. I'm getting attacked by little monkeys. All right, back off and heal yourself. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Damn it. For some stupid fucking reason, I tried to heal, but it switched me to one that uh, doesn't heal. Uh, did you hit down on your D-pad? No. No, I mean, I hit... No, that... No. It wasn't on the healing. It was on... Uh, it was on the Flask of Cerulean. Oh, yeah, the magical one. And I never switched it. You must have clicked it by accident at some point. No, it, it does this actually kind of frequently. Really? Yeah, bug. Huh. Well, I killed it. Are you just dead now? Yeah, I uh, can't do shit. Did you get the memory stone at least? I believe so. Okay. So now what? Are you just stuck being dead? Last side of grace. Yeah. All right. So now if you go into your status at the bottom, it'll say memory slots. Hold on. Can I get my runes? Memory slots. Where are you? Should be on the bottom right. Bottom right? Yeah, if you press uh, start and go into your equipment. On okay. the bottom right, it'll say memory slots, and it should say 9 or 10. 9. Okay. So that means you're missing just one, but it's probably the one at the round table. Okay. Next thing on the agenda is going to be the Road to Inquiry. Which is just slightly north of us. And it's bugged. Is there something here? Yeah. 
Okay. Kamehameha! That didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Lots of explosions. Oh yeah. There right, we got the cerulean hidden tier. You know what that thing does? Uh bleeding heart tier? Uh bleeding heart tier and the cerulean hidden tier is what you should have gotten. Okay. I got both. Yeah. The cerulean hidden tier gives you infinite MP for twenty seconds. Ooh, that could actually really be handy. Well it might not be handy for you, but it's handy when you use things like uh like this. I mean No, handy, because I can do that solid for 20 seconds, get the fuck out of the way. Yeah, but 20 seconds isn't really a lot of time, because you still have to spend, like, two seconds to use the potion. Okay, we actually shouldn't go this way, because we got, we're got we sitting on a lot of runes right now, so let's, uh... Oh, fuck. Um, let's see here. Okay, so the next stop is going to be Frenzied Flame Village Outskirts. Which is in Liurnia. There he is. I want to try something. Okay. Oh, yeah, I should probably tell you, um... I'm going to send you a screenshot of this, is uh, the way I have my, um... my quick access bar set up. sent you on uh, Facebook a screenshot. I have it set up like that so I don't ever accidentally use the Cerulean Flask or the Physic where my potions are. Huh? I just sent you a screenshot on Facebook. No. Oh. I have my pouch set up like that, so my Cerulean Tears and my Physics Tears, I never used them well, by mistake. Well, that's, that, that's the thing. I, I didn't use them by mistake. It's the fucker thing will switch my ass. Because I, I never use magic, uh, magic potions at all. And it's done this to me like four or five fucking times. I, I don't know why I would do that. It's never done that to me. And sometimes it does even switch me to the magic one. It'll switch me to another one. How many I things, don't even know. Huh? How many things do you have equipped? Like for your items, you want to have very little equipped, like nothing equipped. Uh, just the the steed whistle. Uh, oh, tiny gray pot. Uh, wait, well, that's the pouch. Yeah, the pouch. Uh, you want to equip like the things you use frequently on the pouch, but like your little uh, inventory hot bar, you just want to have like two things on it. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with it, as long as it just doesn't fuck with me like that. 
I just, I don't know how it fucks with you like that, because I it's never happened to me before. Yeah, sometimes it'll put me on Flask of Wanderous. The Sigma, we call that. Which I don't even know what the hell that does. Uh, the Flask of Wanderous Physic only does things when you assign uh, tiers to it, which you can do at the Grays. Um, but we should go ahead and get you some really good shit for it. Uh, which is what we're doing right now. Oh, and I just used it. There we go, another tree avatar. Magic Shroud and Crack Tear. Lightning Shroud and Crack Tear. Holy Shroud and Crack Tear. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I never showed you how to use Flame Strike. Uh, so one of those will increase your fire damage, and you can actually imbue your weapons with fire damage. Ooh. Uh, the only thing is if you imbue your weapons with fire damage, you can't do blood damage with them. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, it's good to pick one weapon you want to do fire damage and another weapon you want to do with blood damage. Yeah. All right, so let's see here. Our next stop is actually going to be... Um... Laxyar Ruins, which is the southmost of Liurnia. There it is. following a trail, trail of breadcrumbs. As long as the crumbs ain't moldy. And they're not gonna be numbered in order because bullshit. All right, we're going to four first. Okay. Fingers heirloom. And there should be a Shabriri grape over here. Yep. Yummy. They're a little bit spicy. All right, now we're going to marker number five next. You don't want to catch crabs. 
I don't want to be like our hermit. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Tibia Mariner. Come on, dude. a nice little dodge of that spear at the end. <laughs> Death root and skeletal bandit ashes. Interesting. So the death root is interesting. Remember the rune of death was used to kill Godwin and Ronnie? Mm-hmm. So the remains <laughs> of the rune of death that was used has manifested in the form of death root. Oh. And we've got a quest where we can collect all of it. Shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fucking prank. He's super strong. Dragon Cult Prayer Book. Yeah, that gives us some lightning magic that we can get later. Don't worry, there's a grace right up here. Resurrection painting? Yeah. And up here is a fire monk's camp. And there's going to be two items to grab. One of them is... Flame cleanse me, and the other one is fire spur me. Flames cleanse me. Then, where's the other one? Should be by the fire. There it is. Wait. Did I get it? Uh, maybe you got it when I got it. I'm not sure. If it's not there, then you should have got it. Don't fight the third guy, run past him, rest at this grace. I'm gonna go back and try and kill some more of those guys, because I want their grave scythe. Let's say hi to. Let's rest at this grace again and say hi to Turtle Pope. Yeah. 
I was going to be really upset if Turtle Pope didn't load in. There's, wow, Turtle Pope. <laughs> I welcome you <laughs> Muriel. Everyone's favorite character. Steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of how it came to be known as the Church of Vows? I don't know. That is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here. Red hair Radigan and Ranella of the full moon. The great houses of the earth tree and the moon by the matrimonial bond between red hair. And so our church holds in view the, the earth tree of the capital. <laughs> My legs ain't what they used to be. Oh, was there some you are free? I would serve as your guide only Okay, so what should I ask this guy? Um so why don't you go ahead and if he says something like give scroll or give prayer book give them to him oh i got some prayer book to the world it is but a control things can be conjoined oh very well heresy all thing okay now i'll give him a scroll yeah okay Show Celestial do, do you possess about Radagon? About Radagon. Radagon repented, he ordered this miracle, and so you to restore to experience the miracle. <coughs> Absolution. My faith does not win the miracle rooted in these grounds, and this time, if you would be, oh, I hope that you too. So Radagon left Ranella to return. Now I can ask about Ranella. Is there something you wish to know more? Lord Radagon was a great champ. He came to these lands. Full Moon Witch. However, Radigan left Renala to return to the Earth Tree capital. Oh, that's the oh, that's the one we fought and she didn't fight back. Yeah, because she was heartbroken. That that is a really a depressing battle. Yeah, like I really didn't want to fight her. I just wanted to help her. Yeah, and then uh, her daughter uh, Rani was the one who uh, conjured up. Uh, sorcery of what Renala was like in her prime and we fought that against the full moon give me one minute I gotta turn off the uh, heater Okay. <clears throat> All right. What now? Okay, so next thing we do is uh, we come over here. Collect the gold sewing needle. All right, now just as one extra bonus, see what happens when you attack him. Okay. He clams up. Yeah. Attack him again. All right, now stop. Wait for him to stop climbing up. All right, now talk to him. Are you quite finished? Are you quite there finished? This opportunity to learn to master your emotions. Worry not, I take no offense. But others are not always so forgiving. Some take to anger. Others sorrow. Damn, this turtle's got some real chill. Mm -hmm. They like, yeah, he's all cool about it and shit. Everything 
mm -hmm. lost, with naught to gain. Okay. All right. Well, now that that's settled with, um, let me see. There's still a lot of things that we can do. Oh yes. Uh, let's go to the Albanoric village. We're gonna te teleport to the boiled prawn shack. There it is. And it's bugged. Destructo disc. First stop is we're going to go to number one and number two. And I'm going the wrong way. Wow. not crystal tier. Yeah, that's what we want. Alright, now let's go on to number two. So, remember when I was telling you about the Albinorix? Mm -hmm. Those filthy albinos? Yeah. Abominations of nature. The freaks of nature. Should not exist. So what about them? Well, they're artificially created creatures, but nobody knows where they came from. But the Carrion Royals used them as slaves, but sometime during the War of the Shattering, they created their own village. Here's their village. Look, a bunch of them are hanging. What the fuck? Yeah, somebody came here and genocided an entire Albanoric village. They used Albanorics oh, were just... Up. They were just chilling. They were living out the last of their lives. Hey, look, some are still alive. Make sure we finish the job. <laughs> no loose ends. <laughs> Here's Nefeli. Ooh. Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. Oh my god, is she using the term oppression in the proper context? She is. This time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still meet out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Yeah, keep talking to her until she says, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Okay. Did she say that? Yeah. All right, let's go. Over here, there's another larval tier. Then another Albinor that's still alive. I got blood clot.
<laughs> Did you see that shit? Fucked him up. <laughs> okay, now here's another funny thing. This part of the game was so freaking well hidden, people lost their minds, so they added a fucking light so we see this pot. Oh, wow. Uh, you know what's so funny about this pot? What happens huh. when you break it? Please, no. <laughs> no. This is the one Albinoric we don't want to kill, because he gives us an important no item. But it's a very important, very secret item that so many people who played this game could not find, so they added the light to make this pot noticeable. Medallion. You must keep And if you should meet the young Albert, then please give it to okay. a chosen land away. Keep talking the to him. is the key that it's only a quaint but for dear Latina. <coughs> it is needed to fulfill her purpose. My legs will soon fade and with them my life. You okay, Alas. dude? You don't look uh yeah, you're gone. Oh, he went to ashes, didn't even have to burn him. Yeah, he was old. But he gave us a medallion and he told us to find Lady Latena. Mm -hmm. Now, don't tell the old man that we're also here to just start wrecking shit. Because fuck Albinorix, am I right? <laughs> ah! That one just hit me. Yeah, exactly. It needs to die. Why do we feel sorry for these guys? Uh, I do now. <laughs> Alright, now there should be a gold thing on the ground to summon the Feli. Omen killer. Oh, nice. I didn't even have to help. Crucible, not talisman. Sweet. We killed the omen killer. You know what that means? Uh. No. Good. It means we're gonna go and have sex with Nefeli, but first we're gonna go to the four bell fries. That's just north of us. There it is. And it's bugged. Seems like it's bugged half the time. Yeah. It's rare that it actually gets on the first try. Yeah. Did she even do anything? I think she killed the dogs that were attacking with them. I think it was mostly you that killed them, though. I heard you doing your double slash with the katana. That's pretty effective. Alright. Are you surfing on your horse? Hey. <laughs> it's my new transparent horse. You, you, I saw your horse, but you were standing on the horse normally instead of riding it. All right, here we go. Headless ghost giants.
I think I might want to level up. Yeah. I got 77,000, so... Yeah, you also don't want to sit on your runes for too long, so go ahead and invest them into leveling. Okay, strength's 29, dexterity's 30. What's your endurance at? Endurance? Uh, let me check. My endurance is 15. Okay, you might want to invest a little bit into more endurance, because uh, you're probably going to want to do a little bit more heavier build than me. I put mine at 15, but you might want to put it at, like, 25 at a higher level. Okay. Uh, is your vigor still at uh, 40? 40, yep. Okay, so for now, I think it would be better if you focus more on leveling up more vigor. And Vigor is a higher priority than endurance, but yeah. Alright, here we go. Right, do you get locked out when I go through the teleporter gate, or can you go through it too? Uh, the prompt did come up, and I pressed yes. Okay, I went through. Okay, good. All right, are you ready for some good old-fashioned revenge? Yeah. You know where we are, don't you? I remember him. Remember me, you piece of shit? Ooh. Oh, was that satisfying? Ornamental straight sword. Golden beast crest shield. And you would get those at the beginning of the game if you actually defeated him in the beginning. And then you realize that they're actually not very remarkable weapons. <laughs> That's still, still fucking hilarious. We got fucking invaded in the round table. I know. It's like... No way. Why is there an Elden Lord oh. here? But it shows me that there is definitely many people using this. Yeah. Yeah, this mod is actually pretty popular right now. Did you get the Stormhawk King? The what? The uh, Stormhawk King. Uh, I think so. Uh, you probably got it when I got it. Alright, let's teleport back to the round table. And it's bugged. And I'm invisible. Oh, no, I'm not invisible. Okay. What the fuck? <clears throat> What's this? Are we being invaded in the round table again? <laughs> Get fucked, nerd. So you know who that was, right? Yeah. That was that, that, was that dude that, uh... He was sitting by the stand. Uh, he was at a corner. Mm hmm. He wouldn't talk to you or anything. Yeah, but he just tried to kill us. Green and he lost bone. like a fucking loser. Yeah, dude wasn't even strong. Yeah. Great enemy, my ass. Okay. And it looks like I got kicked out of your world. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. This is fine. Now you can actually go to Gideon and ask him what the fuck was the deal with Ensha. Okay. So you remember where Gideon is. Where is he located? Uh, so when you're at the round table, you go down the hallway. There's nobody here. Um, you might have to tell. Uh, you might have to use a separation mist and then teleport in and out of the round table. Cause, um, yeah. But yeah, what you want to do is um. Yeah, go ahead and use the separation mist, and then just teleport somewhere and teleport back to the round table. 
<clears throat> yeah, it's because we had to deal with an NPC invasion that bugged us out. But yeah, the spot where Ensha was standing, Gideon's in his study uh, in that doorway. And you sure. ask him about Ensha. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Ensha got rather ahead of himself. I got Royal Remains Helm, as his master. Royal Remains Armor, Gauntlets, Greaves. Yeah, that's his armor. And gone. Finished forevermore. Okay. About Ensha. Find the Elpenoric women. All right, now you Last remember, ruins. You remember where the blacksmith was? Uh, go downstairs where the blacksmith is. Okay. And then okay. when, when you get downstairs, you'll find Nafeli crying. Ah, oh, you. I know, but I... Find who crying? Oh, Nafeli should be downstairs Please. crying. Leave me pathetic, I know, but I... Okay. I need to think. <clears throat> Did you find her? Yeah. Yeah, talk to her. Ah, oh, you. Please. It's pathetic, I know, but... Did you talk he to says, her? please leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I need to think. All right, now go back to Gideon and ask what's wrong. Like, what's what's up with the Nefeli? Hmm. Well, what is it? Ah, you've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her, honestly. What a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen hall, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Okay. And what do you say about Nefeli? Uh, basically, he uh, had no more use for her. Uh-huh. And the reason why? It's because we killed that omen killer. It was Gideon who committed oh. the genocide. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. And now go talk to Nefeli again. Ah, oh, you. Please. It's pathetic and... And she found out, right? She found out because she told her father, "Hey, we, I, we, I saved an entire uh, Almanoric village," and he's just like, "Oh, I'm disowning you. You're not my daughter anymore." Punishment for offing his pawns, father, mother, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him, to place him on the throne of Elden Lord, and yet I, though it was not my intent. I betrayed him. And I can no longer trust him, Father, to think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now, 
I've lost it. <laughs> I keep talking to her until you give the option to give her to the Stormhawk King. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient yeah. storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. Give yeah, the Stormhawk key. I'm not like. I just I keep talking to her until she says thank you. Still, it reminds me of my first. Thank you. In this ash, it reminds me of my. Okay. Does she say thank you? Yeah. All right. With that, her quest is concluded. We will put her on hold until she comes back later. Sweet. Uh, so oh. now, you can <clears throat> go ahead and invite me back. But yeah, Nefeli's going to come back later in the game, but for now, her quest is finished. Yeah, use the pot. Saucer, yeah. <laughs> Tick saucer. Fucking password. I didn't think that somebody else would be using password as their password, but I was wrong. Alright, so next thing we want to do is we're going to teleport to the third church of Marika in Limgrave. Uh, that's a fourth. Yeah, and Limgrave. Where's the third? Oh, there it is. Status. Death. Yeah, that's a pretty horrible status to have. Uh huh. Yeah, you know what happens when you get death status? You die? Yeah, you die. And the funny thing is, there are some weapons that give you uh, death status buildup, but they only work on human NPCs. They don't work on monsters. Mm hmm. Right, we're going to go and find Kenneth Height. And just for funnies, let's go ahead and kill this troll just to see how much stronger we've gotten. Yeah, I'd say pretty strong. Yep. Yeah, let's just talk to this guy. I actually, in my in my first time going through this, uh, I actually did find this guy. Yeah, and he wants you to kill the knight that's got bloody slash, but we already did that, so we just say yes to everything until he starts looping. What my fork? What are you waiting for? My fork lies. The fuck. Okay, this guy seems to imply that we haven't already taken the fort. Um, I thought we did. He's going to give me a reward. Earth Steel Dagger. Okay, good. Now I'll keep talking to him, say pledge to serve him, even though he's going to be the one serving us later. Pledge service. What are you waiting for? My fort lies... And they'll say something like, now I need to reestablish contact with the demi-humans. Okay. All right. And now we're going to teleport south to Fort Height West. And it's bugged. We could almost walk there instead. Okay. Also, notice all those rocks floating up on the distance? Um, yeah. That's where the meteor landed when we defeated Radon. And that's also where we need to go to finish Ronnie's quest. Oh. So let's go ahead and teleport to Fort Height. And I'm actually going to go run to use the restroom real quick. Fort Height West? Yeah.
Uh, I think now's a good time to pause and take a break real quick. Yeah, I agree. All right. My my body's starting to get a little clammed up. I'm going to use the restroom. <laughs> 